Hosni Mubarak never expected to be president. But when a public assassination accidentally handed him power, he soon became the only ruler most Egyptians had ever known. Mubarak died Tuesday in hospital after undergoing surgery. He was 91, a military man. He was appointed vice president to Anwar Sadat in 1975. Six years later, he became president when Sadat was gunned down beside him at a military parade. Mubarak only narrowly escaped the bullets himself and for the next 30 years survived multiple assassination attempts on his own life. Mubarak was a friend of the West in fighting Islamists and won Washington's support for remaining committed to a peace pact with Israel. He even gave in to pressure from the Americans in 2005, holding multi-candidate elections for the first time since he became president. But to many young Egyptians, he was a modern pharaoh, presiding over decades of oppression. Their calls for democracy and the end of his rule brought millions to the streets. Finally forcing him to step down after 18 days of protests in February 2011. But that wasn't enough. They wanted him held accountable for years of corruption and the more than 800 people killed during the revolt. Mubarak was handed a life sentence for his role in those deaths, but was ultimately cleared of the charges and freed. As president, his life story became Egypt's story until his people started to write it themselves in the 2011 Arab Spring Revolution that came to define his 30 years in office. Three days of public mourning have been declared, though it's not clear yet if Mubarak will be given a military funeral. For City News, I'm Karen Siolin.